Bacteria in your mouth okay. that 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 you know cultivate um, the the um, formation of the tartar that we actually remove from the teeth. So that the sequence is this: you eat, and what we call plaque, which is basically just a mixture of the food that we eat, the things that we drink, the carbohydrates that we put in our mouth, plus bacteria. Ultimately, that combines with our saliva, and the saliva has. Um, Minerals. Minerals. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So if you're if you're producing the kind of saliva that leads to the formation of tartar, which is the hard stuff, when you finally get to our office that we have to actually clean off the tooth, that's what eventually leads to periodontal disease. It's an infection in the mouth. It's a it's an inflammatory response to material that's stuck to the tooth that the body doesn't want there, and that inflammatory response is what begins to destroy the attachment of the ligament that holds the tooth into the jawbone and then also the gums that support it. So if it's left on there for a long enough period of time and the uh, inflammation persists for a long enough period of time then the patients go from what we call um, gingivitis which is just redness of the gum tissue maybe a little excessive bleeding to full-blown periodontitis so it's a, it's a progressive stage it doesn't turn it off, on and off like a light switch it takes a while for it to accumulate so if we catch it early and we address the reasons of, okay, why is it forming? And typically it's just not cleaning the teeth properly. And then secondarily, getting it off because no matter how good you clean your teeth, you're going to get some accumulation of tartar. So the key is take care of your teeth at home. Uh, and then, you know, either once or twice or three times a year, you're getting your teeth cleaned at the dental professional's office and getting what does accumulate off. So you're always maintaining a good, healthy uh, periodontium in your mouth so you don't end up developing that 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 uh, cascading issue of plaque accumulating turning into tartar turning into gingivitis and then eventually with enough time turning into the periodontal disease <laughs>